What's going on guys? This is Juice Guy Beats on behalf of JuicyDrumKits.com here with a quick tutorial on how to utilize the bus and auxiliary channels using Logic Pro 10. There is a difference between the bus and the auxiliary channels if you didn't know. The bus is a bridge that connects an audio or instrument track to a corresponding auxiliary channel. And an auxiliary channel is a channel you can add effects to like a phaser, reverb, distortion, things like that. So let's get into exactly how to set this up and how it works. I have an audio track with a short vocal enabled. Oh. And let's add a bus to that. Let's add a send or a bus to that channel. Uh, to do so, we click where it says send and hold down the mouse, go down to where it says bus, and then pick a corresponding auxiliary channel we want to send it to. And I pick bus one because I have a short uh, a simple reverb set up on it. And if you look over here closely in this circle, you can see a little green bar. And that's how much of the audio signal we're sending to that aux corresponding auxiliary channel. So let's hear how it sounds as it's setting now. <sighs> you can kind of hear some of the reverb, but if we want to turn it up, <sighs> you can really hear it. And this is really useful for taking full control over your mix because you can determine exactly how much of each effect you want um, and set it, get your mix sounding exactly how you want. But we don't have to just use one uh, bus per channel. We can use multiple and have multiple effects working at once. So on that same channel, let's set up a send to, to auxiliary channel two. And on that channel, I have a bit crusher and a phaser enabled. So let's get that going. <sighs> Pretty cool. In just a matter of seconds, we, we completely morphed that sound and made it unique. Uh, we're not limited by that, though. We can also um, add multiple audio or instrument tracks to the same bus. So I have another um, vocal enabled. And that's, that's sending to bus one as well. So let's hear it together. <sighs> or if I wanted it to go to bus two, I could do that too. <sighs> and you can see that it's really, e it's a lot easier to mix like this because you can have, let's say for example, all your drums going to the same reverb and you can have a more unified sound that way or however you want to set it up. It's completely up to you. And that's, that's a very simple way to use the bus and auxiliary channels. But if you want to get more intricate, as you can see on um, bus, bus one or auxiliary channel one, I can send that effects channel to other buses or I can send all of that output to another to another auxiliary channel so for example say let's take our reverb and send that to bus 3 and bus 3 has a chorus on it so let's hear how that sounds now <sighs> that's completely different that's a new sound and it only took us a, a few seconds and this is just an example to show you how you can use this to get creative and take control of your mix but you can set up um, extremely complicated effects chains by adding all sorts of effects to effects and take full control over your mix and come up with new sounds, a completely, uh, completely unique sound that fits you. So yeah, that's a really quick overview of how to use the bus and auxiliary channels. If you have any more questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, please like this video if you thought it was helpful and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. Peace.